I just bought this altitude project. It's uh, rose bubbles, American wine. All right, this is actually not bad. I met McCarran Airport in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> and I'm going to Mexico. It's currently what it's today is. Today's October 30th, uh, which is Saturday, and then tomorrow is the 31st. Um, so it's Halloween tomorrow. And I will be flying to Mexico at 12 noon today, and I will be arriving Mexico like seven. But yeah, I'm pretty much excited. Uh, it's been one year since I came back from Mexico, so this is pretty cool to be doing this again uh, one year later after I came back. So I really miss Mexico, and I have a list right now because I'm wearing my retainers. It's that thing when you travel and you wear your retainers, and that's the only time I freaking wear my retainers is when they travel. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna set up here uh, to work. I'm very busy with my with my day job and so I'm gonna work here until we board very disappointed that Volaris which is the flight that goes to Mexico and I think I don't think there's an airline out there a Mexican airline that offers Wi-Fi on board so it's one of those things that I wish they had because I could do so much work on my way to Mexico so this is where I'm at this is uh, I think I'm number 22 so I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. But so they have these cool high tops, which I'm gonna use to work. Um, if you ask me what plans I have in Mexico, um, I will be landing in Mexico today and checking into my airport hotel um, because tomorrow I have a domestic flight to Chihuahua. This is my hometown where I'm gonna go see all my family, um, and I'm gonna spend Day of the Dead there. So. That's the plan for tomorrow. And then drinking my rosé, whatever this is. Cheers. I'm boarding the flight to Mexico City now. Oh, see, see. Hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. I just landed in Mexico City. That was like a real quick flight. <laughs> so I am so excited to be here in Mexico City. I know, I'm wearing my work mask right now. <laughs> I, I just didn't have another option and I just have to wear this mask. So what, right now we're walking to immigration. And I'm literally waiting for someone to say, hello sir, you need to stop recording because Mexico City or Mexico, they're very picky about recording, so. So my journey to Mexico immigration continues. It's a long walk. I just got to the capsule hotel here in Mexico City. Um, this is the common area where there's like the lockers, the sinks, restrooms, and showers. Those are the restrooms and the showers in there. And then this is the capsule area. It's pretty cool. So I have my stuff here. And um, things. This is your card that unlocks your locker and you get a remote and socks. Um, yeah and then um, you cannot use your vibrate feature on your phone. So I'm gonna get things ready to go to Mexico City. Hey guys, I'm here at the Capsule Hotel and uh, this is my capsule. This is where I will be sleeping tonight. Um, this is a mirror, um, some air conditioning. You can adjust the air, some lighting on top. And there's a TV, um, a fire extinguisher and a fire alarm. And then like there's all these settings here to adjust the comfortability of your capsule and this is uh, a safe 
so it's pretty comfy in here it's nice and cool the bed is very comfortable um, they give you some water in there and you must put your car there this door shuts like this and it locks so you can put unlock the door so you can open it there's a plug here you can put your earphones there's two usb ports there so um so i arrived it's 6:52 here now <coughs> going to head out and just walk and eventually go to dinner or lunch so that is what's going on right now I'm gonna take the metro is it a bad idea and wander around for the rest of the evening the weather is super nice so in my wallet I took out a, a lot of my stuff I only have three things now um, so I'm taking that my cell phone I'm going to take my Apple Watch even though it's a little blingy but I'm going to wear a sweater so it's covered so that's the intention today alright I'll show you outside alright I'm in Mexico City this is the Is Leap it was a little bit hard to find but I found it, so that's good. I'm going to go downtown. I have a headache. It's a little massive now. It's gradually been getting worse and worse. So I guess what I need to do now is get to the metro and then get some pesos. I should probably carry some pesos. And then my shoes untied. And I'm going to go to Metro and go to downtown and see what's happening down there. Probably going to get some food. So I'm pretty excited. Which, by the way, security does not like that I'm recording inside the airport. So I asked him, where can I record? He said, outside the airport. It depends who you ask because security guard just passed by and she didn't care. Put it together, Caesar. So I'm walking through the airport now. So I want to get some dim sum. I know I'm a fatty. I want some dim sum. Um, so I think there's maybe a place. So Metro is all the way to the end. All the way to the end. And more. metro card because I couldn't find my old one at home but I'm waiting for the next metro apparently it comes every three minutes and this is called Terminal Aria Aera so I know I should probably take Uber but I really do like the metro experience it's a community I'm in Zona Rosa uh, I came here through the Insurgentes <laughs> And I don't know what to eat. I have a big, massive headache, so. So I'm here in Mexico City, and I'm eating a jumbo hot dog. And it's so good. It has a whole bunch of stuff. And they make it here on the streets of Zona Rosa. So I walk down the street here in uh, Zona Rosa. And there's this, there's like this really good smell. It smells like waffles. And I found what it is. I'm gonna get a penis waffle.
the main boulevard and it's freaking packed, dude. And like they sell like all these foods here on the streets. And this is an unhid de la independencia. And I wanted to cross the street. Um, it's Sunday, October 31st, and it's like 5.30 in the morning. I just, uh, left that Capsa Hotel. Ooh, I'm sorry, chat. Now, I'm in, currently in Terminal 1, that's where the Capsa Hotel is. And now I have to make it to Terminal 2. For my domestic flight to my hometown of Chihuahua. So it's daylight savings time today. Apparently we got one more hour of rust. I couldn't sleep last night. I was up until 12 and I was actually working on my laptop for my actual job. And I didn't realize that was 12 because I'm in Pacific Standard Time, so 12 is like, what, 10? Fine. Eventually I went to sleep. That capsule hotel was pretty comfortable. And uh, one thing about Mexico City Airport is that it's integrated with a bus port. So if you're going to somewhere else around Mexico City, you can definitely do so. The bus will pick you up here. You can buy your ticket here. You can buy it online. But it's a very busy airport 24 seven. Last night I had dinner here and a flight from France just landed. And so this Fran French guy, he was eating tacos next to me. And he said that it was a 12 hour trip. I was like, damn. So here's a uh, part of the terminal. I need to take the air train, air train, air train to the terminal. To. I'm very excited to see my family. I'm very excited to go back to my hometown. It's gonna be a two hour and 30 minute flight which it took three hours and 50 minutes to get to Mexico. So we're like backtracking. No one has stopped me for vlogging, so that's a good thing. We're having a great morning. Oh shit, okay. The Aero train is upstairs. Come on, Mexico, you make me climb so many stairs. Holy shit. Ooh. <laughs> what a mess. Oh my god, what a mess. I am finally boarding my flight to Chihuahua. And by the way, the drama <laughs> that happened before here. Oh my god. So same thing though. Um, dude. That whole domestic flight process is so confusing. I'm so lucky I made it in. This is the airplane that will take me to Chihuahua.
Hope I get some sleep on this two hour and a half flight. As you see, I'm traveling by myself in Mexico and a lot of people ask me if traveling by myself can get lonely. And at times, it really doesn't. You learn to be happy with yourself and you run everything on your terms. So, I really do enjoy the time by myself the adventures that come with that. And they think about those people that are afraid to travel to foreign countries like Mexico. And I hope that you join me in my adventures and see how things could be if you have a change of heart. There is that nostalgic feeling of returning to the place that you were born that feels very different upon arrival. It's all kinds of emotions. It's something you can't really take away from yourself, part of your own identity. I'm happy to be in Chihuahua.